Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about the levels of structural organization of the human body. So, let's get started. We will go through this sequence starting from atoms then ending up in this beautiful human body. First level of structural organization is the atoms. And when it comes to physics, physics has its own opinion about atom. So let's consider this as level 1 of structural organization and this level 0. And several atoms can give a molecule. As we can see this a molecule of caffeine composed of several types of atoms. And as I know we have just one or six types of atoms. This is the number of elements in nature. And the molecule consider level 2 in structural organization of the human body. As we can see this the amino acids that form the proteins in the human body. And each of these amino acids is considered as a molecule. And several molecules can give a macro molecule. And an example of a macro molecule is the hemoglobin which is a type of protein. And we have four basic types of macromolecules. We have nucleic acid, which is the DNA, and also the RNA. We have protein, we have carbohydrate, which is a macromolecule of several small glucose molecules. And last but not least, we have the lipids. These are the four basic types of macromolecules that will form the human body. Until now, we finished level 3 of structural organization of the human body. Several macromolecules will give an organelle. So, moving from level 3 to level 4 of structural organization of the human body. And an example of organelle is the mitochondria. As we can see, this a mitochondrion, which composed of several macromolecules. These are proteins that form the mitochondria. These are lipids, these are proteins, and guess what? There is DNA in this mitochondrion. And of course we have carbohydrates in this mitochondrion. The mitochondrion is just one organelle of several cell organelles. So we have several types of organelles. We have mitochondria, we have nucleus, some references consider nucleus as the main parts of the cell, but some references consider the nucleus as an organelle. We'll go through this in a different video. And we have the plasma membrane which also consider as an organelle. And the last example is the endoplasmic reticulum. Of course we have other organelles, but these are just examples of organelles. Several organelles will give us a cell. So, moving from level 4 to level 5 of structural organization of the human body. As we can see, this cell composed of several types of organelles. All these organelles work together to perform several cellular functions. And of course, we have so many types of cells. Several cells will move us from level 5 to level 6 of structural organization, which is the tissue. A tissue is just a bunch of cells, sometimes cells from just one type or cells from several types. For example, this is the epithelial cells that form the skin. And we have four basic types of tissues. We have epithelial tissue which covers or lines. Covers the human body as we know the skin composed of epithelial tissue and lines body cavities such as the small intestine and the epithelial tissue responsible for so many functions. One of them is the absorption of food and also secretion of some hormones. We also have the connective tissue which supports the human body. For example, the bone is a connective tissue. Then we have the muscular tissue, which consists of three types of muscular tissues. Cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle, and smooth muscle. And last but not least, we have the nervous tissue. The nervous tissue composed of several types of cells, but the most important cells is the neurons which is the cells that are responsible for the communication of the human body parts at all. And also it's responsible for the communication between people. And several tissues will give us an 
organ such as the skin which is the biggest organ of the human body so moving from level six to level seven of structural organization of the human body and of course we have so many organs of the human body for example we have the muscle which by the way composed of muscular tissue and also a connective tissue and we have the bone we also have liver which is the second biggest organ of the human body and of course we have the brain these are just examples of organs we have so many other organs and several organs will gather around to give us a system for example the digestive system so again moving from level 7 to level 8 of structural organization of the human body the body is composed of 11 organ systems as we can see we have the integumentary system which is the skin and its appendages also we have the skeletal system and we have the muscular system the nervous system the endocrine system which is responsible for the secretion of hormones that regulates the internal environment of the human body and also we have the cardiovascular system which is the heart and blood vessels that circulate the blood all over the human body and also we have lymphatic system which is responsible for many functions one of them is immunity and we have the respiratory system we have of course the digestive system also we have the urinary system and we have the male and female reproductive system and these 11 organ systems will come together to form the human body the organism level so moving from level 8 to level 9 of structural organization of the human body by the help of all these organ systems the human body is capable of doing so much so to sum up levels of structural organization of the human body start from atoms several atoms will give us a molecule and several molecules will give us a macromolecule this is the chemical level and then several macromolecules will give an organelle and several organelles will give us a cell and this is the cellular level then several cells will form a tissue so this is the tissue level and several tissues will form an organ this is the organ level and several organs will form organ system so this is the organ system level and several organ system will give us this beautiful human body and this is the organismal level which means the level of organism thank you for watching see you in the next video